It's a nice addition to size eyes on the skies. We have a clear radar across the state today, and that's continued to, that's forecasted to continue into the weekend. I'll have more in my Iowa forecast. And Jen will have the national forecast when you come back. On ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. And this is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Well, Eric, the melting process has begun, hasn't it? Yeah, it was actually, you know, not too bad today. This weekend, though, was really nice. And I actually went home, so I had to, I actually en enjoyed even warmer temperatures over in uh, eastern Nebraska, where it even got up to like 60 there. And, I mean, you could really tell where the snow was still on the ground, where I think here in Ames it was still, you know, upper 30s temperature-wise. So that snow made a big difference on the weekend temperatures. Yeah, very nice. All right. But, yeah, looking at the uh, day planner for tomorrow, it seems like we're not going to be too bad. We'll still be above average. At uh, 8 a.m., we're going to have 24-degree weather, so not too bad when you're walking to classes. But then at the lunch hour, we're going to get up to 30 degrees and up to 34 on the afternoon hour. So all in all, not a too bad of a day. Still above average for this time of year. All right, um, Jen has your national forecast. Hi, guys. Not a whole lot to talk about across the nation today. Um, the Northeast is seeing a little bit of precip. I'll have more for you in just a little bit. Here's Jen with your national forecast. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, pretty comfortable temperatures across the uh, western part of the country today. However, um, as we go to the northeast, we can see that it is much colder over here. Um, they've got a lot of snow moving through right now and snow already on the ground that is keeping them colder. Uh, 25 in Pittsburgh, 36 in our nation's capital. Moving to the south, we can uh, there see that the uh, lack of snow down there is keeping them a lot warmer. 67 over in New Orleans, 55 up in Atlanta. Moving back to the west, we can, um, the uh, temperatures are much warmer. Uh, 74 over in Las Vegas, 81 down in Phoenix. Uh, very nice temperatures and comfortable over there. Still pretty dry over in California, but in the 60s there. Um, as we move up to Oregon and Washington, um, low 50s um, around that part of the country coming back home. Uh, our snowpack, again, is keeping us very cold, um, but still um, above average. Uh, 28 up in Minneapolis right now, 32 here um, in Iowa. Um, as we take a look at our highs for the day, uh, not very different from the temperatures you just saw. 33 up in Minneapolis, 83 over in Phoenix, 75 in Dallas. Looking at our clouds and radar, we can see that there's um, a good amount of precip happening over in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, taking a look at the Northeast, here's a look at that, all that snow that they're getting uh, moving off uh, into the ocean. A little bit of mixing here in the pink and rain further to the south. Looking at our watches and warnings, uh, a lot of winter-related watches and warnings. We've got some up here, uh, Minnesota and the Dakotas, dealing with freezing rain um, in the lighter purple, and uh, the darker is your winter storms. Um, same colors over here in the northeast where they're getting all that snow right now. Looking at our future cast, uh, not a whole lot to talk about. The, um, ra the rain and snow over here is going to be moving off um, as I said, into the oceans, and um, many, the Minnesota is going to be getting a little bit of snow um, in the next couple days, but not much to talk about there. 
our highs for tomorrow, a little bit cooler, 23 in Minneapolis, 58 over in Seattle. Um, and in Pendleton, Oregon, which is our travel city for the week, um, they should be mostly uh, sunny for the week, um, a couple clouds here and there, but uh, 60s and 50s for them, uh, keeping it pretty nice over in Oregon. Very nice, Jan. Let's uh, take a look at our trivia question for, the, for today. Um, the question is, uh, which layer of the atmosphere produces weather? A, thermosphere, B, troposphere, C, stratosphere, or D, mesosphere? Uh, we'll be right back, with, or here's Eric with our uh, local for, er, Iowa forecast. Sitting right around freezing for much of the state today, a little bit cooler off to the east, but I'll have more in my Iowa forecast after the break. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. Looking into the forecast, we're going to have warm weather at least for the next couple days, but the winds are going to be picking up, and that is going to help lead to a cool down by the end of the weekend. We're going to be dipping back to average and below average even as we head into the weekend. Currently, though, it is 29 outside of the studio. Winds are east-southeast at 3 miles an hour with a dew point at 23, so not too bad out there. The highs across the state today, we got to 29 here in Ames. Warmer down in Des Moines where they got 32, and Sioux City out there got 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Current winds are out of the east right now, anywhere from 3 miles here in Ames to 5 in Des Moines, 8 in Council Bluffs, and 10 over in Sioux City. So the clouds and rain are so we got a lot of clouds coming covering the state today, and that's going to end up uh, covering more than just our state. It's going to continue for the next couple days, too, as we head into tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Futurecast, it will show the clouds that have moved in today, and overnight they're going to continue to have. we got this little system bringing a little bit of snow to the northern parts of Iowa, but mostly that will impact the states of Minnesota and Wisconsin. And going into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, more clouds. We're just going to have a cloudy day the next couple of days, with not much sunshine. Lows tonight. We'll get to 19 in Marshalltown, 19 in Ottumwa. A bit warmer out to the west where they don't have as much snow on the ground. We're 26 in Council Bluffs. Highs tomorrow, you can kind of see where that melting happened this weekend where we got 39 in Des Moines, 35 in Fort Dodge, but there's a little bit less snow on the ground, 47 over in Sioux City, and 44 down in Council Bluffs, Iowa. For tonight, though, 27 degrees, mostly cloudy, winds southeast from 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, windy and a bit warmer, 29 degrees, but those gusts up to 21 miles an hour. So it'll be a bit gustier tomorrow than what we were used to today. And that'll continue again into Wednesday, those gusty winds. But so uh, first couple days, not too bad, 35, right around average on Wednesday with a 29 high. But look at that low, zero on Wednesday, only rebounding to 13 on Thursday. And then again, those lows, overnight lows are going to dip down there in temperature. We got four on Thursday, even negative one on Saturday, before starting to warm up as we head into next Monday with a high of 35 there. Back to you, Sam. Thanks, Eric. Uh, let's take a look at your trivia question for tonight. Uh, which layer of the atmosphere produces weather? A, thermosphere, B, troposphere, C, stratosphere, or D, mesosphere? And the answer is D, troposphere. You know that one, Sam? I uh, actually screwed it up last spring in Meteorology 206, but I do know it now. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, I, apparently, Boston got about five foot of, feet of snow the other day, and they're about to get 12 feet or 12 yeah. inches. As, as if they needed any more snow know, up right? in the northeast. So that is just, I mean, they're going to be melting. It'll take them forever to melt all that snow. Yep, it'll be a lot colder than us. Hopefully, we can get a little melting here. Yeah. Next next week, but it'll be cold until then. At least like, no so. precip chances though for the next couple of days, which is going to be really kind of nice. Even though it won't be melting much, at least we don't have to be adding any more to an already you know snow-packed <laughs> Ames. Yes. yes, very true. But you know, Ready I want to get rid of it. <laughs> you know, it was, it, it's it's amazing. You can see exactly where that you know no snow on the ground is, and how much that affects the warmer weather that oh, yeah. you know western Iowa is seeing to you know eastern Nebraska, mm -hmm. and it just. It makes me ready for the spring yes. for warmer temps. No more yep. snow. I'm, I'm, I'm done with snow. Yes. Uh, just kind of want those rain chances as opposed to it. Oh, yes. All definitely, right. definitely. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching tonight's segment. Um, we'll see you later.